Hi, welcome back. This is John and Becky with Good Scarlet. We're part-time eBay sellers. We sell thrifted items that we acquire from the Goodwill bins and other thrift stores. We sell them on platforms like eBay and Poshmark for profit. We have a Goodwill bins haul today. It is August 13th, Thursday afternoon and we are going to show you what we bought today from the Goodwill outlet and we have got uploaded a video in probably over two weeks because every video we have done mysteriously gets an error or it never uploads and we've tried it with several phones so we're thinking maybe the length was too long because they were pretty long videos. So we're going to probably do a 15 minute video. If we haven't gotten through everything, we'll just name this one part one and then we'll have a part two to be uploaded right after it. And hopefully these will upload because it's frustrating when you take the time out of your day to do a video and it doesn't upload so it's happened multiple times um, we we are trying to grow our channel we still only have 19 subscribers so we're, we're hanging in there trying right mm -hmm. and we are in Virginia and like I said we run this eBay business at our home and um, do quite well I think so. We have a lot to teach and we still have a lot to learn. So we spent what? How much did we spend today? Seventy-eight for some cheese. Seventy-eight dollars. Our bin is a dollar twenty-nine per pound. We got um, four pairs of shoes and the rest clothing. So we're going to go through um, the clothing first. And like I said, after 15 minutes, we're just going to stop it and then we'll do the next video to finish it up. And hopefully these will upload. Please like, comment, and subscribe to let us know that you're watching, if there's anything that um, you learned or can teach us, anything, any feedback, we'd appreciate anything. So, um, what? Popping. <coughs> we have a dog right here. Popping. He's a, a English setter and he's beautiful, but he's very needy so he, he likes to talk to us so he will let us down. know uh, what he's what he needs um okay so right. we're going to start with the clothing yeah we'll start first bag okay first thing is a vintage and hearst a-n-d-h-u-r-s-t nice uh fair out of sweater cable knit and um, the size is cut out. Looks like it might be a men's large, but I think it's awesome. I love grabbing vintage clothes. Needs a little um, spot treatment on the sleeves, but uh, if that comes clean, I wash it. Turns out good. It's gonna go to some lucky owner someday. So you're the reason why our videos go too long. Okay, so this is um, new with tag. It's airy, and it's a chunky uh, navy blue sweater. And washed it out once again. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. I Ann Taylor Loft um, curvy skinny corduroys, size thirty ten, stretch, nice, excellent condition, and they are a gray. I don't know what color green. Corduroy. Corduroy. Yeah, those are nice. Yeah. We sell a lot of corduroy jeans this time of this year. This time of year. We keep a constant supply of them when we can find them at the bin. As long as they're like new condition or new. This is Worthington. This is sold at JCPenney. We picked this up because it sells. It's just basic career clothing. And it does sell. But this is a very neat multicolor, like a boucle, tweed, a lens skirt. It's cute. This is size 16, new attack. If you see anything that you would like or you have questions, please comment below. We're also gonna link our 
We should get an email address, where, like a Gmail address, where they can email us mm. with questions. If you're interested in purchasing anything, we'd sell to you directly. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. This is a Steve Madden, I'm pretty sure it's wool, maybe wool acrylic. I think it's acrylic, yeah. If infinity scarf, it's got its little metal tag on there. That's new with tags. Normally, we won't get a scarf unless it's something significant. Uh, well, it's a good nice. brand and it's new, yeah. so trendy. So this is another basic career skirt. This is a sweater knit with the elastic waist. It's midi. It's like a faux wrap. And it's cold water creek, black and beige. And it's not n new with tags, but it feels like new. So we'll just put pre-owned, excellent condition. And it is a size petite small. This is a Terra in Sky blouse, v-neck, uh, maroon, burgundy, uh, plus size 3X, 24W. And we do we do good with plus size. Nice blouse. Even though it's not okay. new with tags, it's a good size. And then we were excited about this dress because it's strapless. It's like a little cocktail dress but it's new with tags. Jessica McClintock. Jessica McClintock, size eight, made in the USA. So this is probably from the 90s. And Goodwill was selling it for $29.99, so no one bought it, so it goes to the bin, and we bought it for probably $1.50, mm -hmm. right? So that's cute. Yeah, sometimes it's nice when Goodwill overprices yeah. in their store because we're like, that's going to be in the bin in another month. Yeah, because people don't want to spend yep. $30 on something. There's a No Boundaries um, High Rise Skinny Black Stretchy Jeggings. Um, our daughter wears these, but these are too small. New with tags. Real popular with different. the tween kind of kids. Size one. And. Kato is a brand we pick up as long as it's somewhat cute. But this is um, an elastic waist uh, black with a gold metallic kind of woven chiffon A-line skirt. That's cute. It's um, size 1416W and it's new with tags. Is that APT for apartment? Mm -hmm. okay. Apartment 9. That's it. Cold. Apartment 9. Uh, modern fit black trousers, new with tags, size six, with a belt. To seal the deal. This is a pair of dark wash Talbots jeans, and I got them because they look like they're brand new. They are the Talbots straight fit, and then I look inside, it's a size 10, and it still has this little store tag, but someone ripped the price tag off the end of it. So I'm still gonna put pre-owned like new, and I'll take a picture of the little string, but they're nice. Size 10. Here is a Adventure Tech. I guess they're kind of paramilitary clothing. It's a soft shell jacket, full zip, men's extra extra large. And it's made by that company proper. Oh. That tactical company. I okay. Guess. Nice We've jacket. never heard of it before, no. so we looked it up. So we're gonna do more research. Yeah, it's kind of like a um, putty tan. And we pick up Old Navy with, with new uh, new tags. These are the super skinny mid-rise dark wash jeans. And these are new tags, and they are a size zero short. Adriana Goldschmied, the Moto Legging, um, 29. Yep, yeah, made in USA. I guess that's a green, olive green. They got the zipper ankles. Super stretchy. Mm -hmm. 
And you pick these up. These are the, these are like um, turqu uh, turquoise or teal color. These are actually girls' old navy jeggings. They're the pull-on style. They don't have a zipper and they're super stretchy and they're size XXL or size 16. But they're newer tags. I'm gonna see if my daughter wants these. These will fit her. More old navy. These are rockstar jeggings, size 12. Don't know why you got these. They're not new. Because they're like new. Oh. And what's like after them? Uh, girls. Oh, I well, got them because they're the utility pockets. Oh, okay. They look neat. Yeah. You know? Okay. And rockstar jeggings are good, even though they're girls. They're a good color and they've got the pockets. So. That's true. There's a pair of vintage Old Navy painter's pants. They're kind of painter, um, carpenter. They got that carpenter pocket on the side, paintbrush pocket. Anyhow, um, I just got a pair of these a couple hauls ago and they already sold. So I, it actually, they sold while we were in the bins. And then I said, oh, another pair. So naturally, I grabbed them. Mm. They're pretty big. These are uh, they're from 06 4232. And I picked these up as well because my daughter might want them. But they are from Target. They're Cat and Jack, and they're just basic white raw hem cut off jean shorts. But they're size 14, 16 XL. I'm gonna see if she wants them. If not, I'll. Um, list them for probably like eight dollars or something and then um, or redonate them this old navy new the tag is ripped in half but um I don't know what you call this it's a basic it's, like a, it's probably like a wool blend it's full wool um, that was polyester. I agree winter white button front jacket mm -hmm. but it's got the stand up collar I just got it because it had new with partial tag size medium and then I've never found one of these before but this is one of the free people little shopper satchel bags I heard they sell they probably give them away at the store, I don't know. But it says free people all over it. It's cute. There's a summer dress. Nice floral tropical print from uh, French Connection. Doesn't French Connection make the uniforms? The skirts? French toast. French toast. Anyhow, I, it's a nice dress. It's... Uh, Feels like it's linen, cotton linen blend. We didn't look it up, but we just like the pattern and it's in excellent condition, so we got it. And it's lined. Actually, feels like new without tags. Yep, linen blend. And it has a little belt. Does it have a belt? No, no. it's a tie. Neck. It's weird. Is it? Yes. Okay, do those and then we'll do the shoes and then we'll end our video and then we'll do okay. video number two. And if this video gets error message and gets dumped or just they go into nowhere land, you upload them, it says processing 0% and then they, they go away. They're gone. Can't find them. So it's quite frustrating. Yes. So we're hoping this one uploads. This is uh, ink. International Concepts cowl neck or off shoulder, nice dressy ribbed knit sweater top with tags, size extra large, eighty dollars in the store. Yeah, and that's sold at Macy's. Nice I think bill. it's got the little dressy brooch, brooch, brooch. What's that? Some kind of thread? Brioche. <laughs> Brioche the subject. That's brooch the subject. This a uh, Victoria's Secret, uh, kind of a satiny. Um, I wonder if this is their second skin bra. satin. Does it say that? Is their second skin is more than long. I didn't see that on there. 
Here's a vintage Sears full slip with nice uh, details at the bottom, kind of lacy. And this is vintage size 40 from Sears. It has that anti cling, that old Antron 3 nylon that everybody has to have, right? Mm-hmm, definitely. And uh, gold gym hoodie. It's not vintage or anything, but there's a market out there for them. Guys like them, size small. It's excellent condition, excellent pre-owned condition. So we're gonna go over our shoes and then we will end our video and then we'll upload part two next, this big bag. So stay tuned. Uh, so we got four shoes. Our shoes are $3.50 a piece for adults. And um, I got these Toms just because they're different. They're black, they're the crochet lace. They're in very excellent condition, clean, but they're size um, women's 10. So that's why I got them because they're different than the other stuff. These, I believe, is sold at Target. It's called Miss Trish for Target, and I got them. They're size six, and I got them because they're black patent leather, and they have the leopards the with the encrusted jewels and the jewel eyes. So I don't know. Sometimes Target collabs um, do it really well. I, I, I didn't look them up, though. They're size six. And then... John found some Dansko, these open toe sandals, they do well, and it's black with the metallic, and they're size 39, 39. and then we got a pair of Ugg boots, they are the Wedge New Buck black leather Ugg boots, um, ankle boots with the zipper. And their size, what were they, 10, nine and a half, let's see. But they're in really good condition. The inside has the shearling and it's perfectly clean. So I think maybe someone didn't understand that they were Ugg, because they don't look like Ugg, but they've got the little, the little Uggs, little embossed logo there. But, and the little tag says Ugg on it, but they are size USA 10. So those are cute. Three dollars and fifty cents. Okay? Yep. So video number one is complete. We will try to upload and wish us luck, right? Yes. Okay. Bye.